Hey guys, so I wanted to film an uh, unboxing video um, and I just, it just didn't happen Christmas morning. So I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. You don't think I have one of these up on this channel? I have done these in the past years ago on my old beauty channel, um, but I, I don't think I've done one on this channel yet. So um, this is my bag that I got for Christmas. My husband got this for me. I absolutely love this bag. Here it is. It is the Tory Burch um, Small York uh, Buckle Tote. And it is in the green color. I believe the green and the pink, like a certain amount of the funds go towards something, like a charity of some sort. I'm not positive. If I'm being honest, I just wanted a green bag, but I'm glad I could help out if that's the case. So here it is. It's really a beautiful bag. Um, after I get done showing it to you, I will grab my um, I think it's called the Carrington or Kensington. I'll grab my big striped tote and you guys can see the difference between this and like what the larger size would be because the size of my, that tote is the same size as the larger version of this. So I originally worried about the straps because for me I was like okay it needs to be able to go over my shoulder, sit over my shoulder and then and like be comfortable there even with like a jacket on. And it is and in fact I could go one loop, one loop like looser and it would be even longer um so this is the bag i've already been i've been carrying it a little bit um we've been kind of staying in a lot so but i've carried it out a couple times so inside the bag let me zip it up here so you guys can see um it is divided um not completely i'll show you what i mean in a minute but it's got this middle set a zipper section here and then two sections on the side now the bottom of this zippered section is not attached to the bottom of the bag but it is a very thick zippered section so if you put things in it 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 doesn't it doesn't like flap around or anything but there is a small space at the bottom so like change could go to the other side if you're somebody who lets loose change fly around in their bag that like peeves me oh god it, like my like OCD twitch is happening just thinking about loose change like I don't like loose change in the cup holder of the car I don't like loose change in a bag I like see loose change in the cup holder of somebody's car and it like makes me cringe and my brother my brother is very much like me he likes things a very certain way we all color code our closets but he leaves change in his cup holder in his like Jeep that he got brand new when he graduated high school and like every time I like see the change in there it kills me but anyways mini rant so this is what the inside looks like it is very spacious. Um, you could probably almost fit a full-size iPad in the center. You could definitely fit uh, an iPad mini with a case on it in here. Um, I'm going to show you something that I sometimes keep in here. I brought it up here. It's not in my bag right now, but I figured I'd bring it up and show you. Um, so it is a very big size. So let me get into emptying the bag and then I can better show you the inside. So in one side, I have my cash envelope system. I've showed this before um, in a video. You guys can go check that out if you need, would like a more updated one or maybe you have specific questions. Go, go over to that video and check it out. If I can remember, I will put it below. But it, uh, my channel, my other channel is always linked below, but I'll try to link the budget video where I talk about my envelope system. The other thing I keep in here is a pen. It's in a little side pocket in here. I just keep one of these. Um, it's an infinity penned by the right dudes and it's just a black pen i really like those pens they're good um and then i have my sunglass case these are the sunglasses i always keep in my purse i have a pair that i keep in the car um that are just um i think like steve madden aviators but these are my tory birch glasses if you follow my um one of my other channels either snips and snails or my toast and family adventures you saw me get these at the um well, you saw me haul these, and I got these during our trip to um, Orlando for Disney, This our latest trip. And um, this they're just really pretty. They're kind of a cat eye sort of look. They're gorgeous. They come with a beautiful case. Really, really like these. And here's the case. Super, super pretty. Love these. It just looks nice, you know. So I like that. And then I have my wallet. This is a Hobo International. This is the Lauren wallet. Um, I have talked about these wallets on my other channel in the past. I have been using this type of wallet since my junior year of high school. Um, I switch it to a smaller wallet when I need to, but this is my everyday always wallet. My husband bought me a white one 
uh, my senior year of high school. I think it was my senior year. Yeah, it was my senior year. He bought me a white one my senior year of high school. I used that until last year. I mean, that's a long time because we're talking, I graduated in 2006 and it is now 2015. So I used that thing for eight years. Yeah, I used it for eight years. I had this one for not quite a year yet, but I really, really love it. I'm just going to cover my ID. I have my debit card. Um, I have other debit cards, but that's a whole new thing. That's a whole other thing. It's a budget video you can watch on my, my other channel. Uh, my husband and I have a bunch of different checking accounts that are allotted for different expenses, and we don't use credit cards. Um, so then I have my other little envelope system here. There's a zipper on this side. And then in here we have our kids' passes to um, their um, national park pass, their Lego VIP little pass, and their two little cards that they need to do activities on um, military bases and things involved with the Boys and Girls Club. And then I also have our library cards and some movie frequent movie people cards. And then I also have all my frequent buyer cards. Again, we don't use credit cards. So when I say that, I don't mean store credit cards. I mean like um, we have a discount card for Target. My, my brother-in-law works for Target Distribution and my husband used to. So we have a, a discount, a team member discount card. Um, I've got my commissary rewards card. This is like a coupon card you load up. My Sephora card. I don't have an Ulta card. I haven't had one in years. I just give them my email when I go in there and it, it pops up. Um, I've got my, what is this one, Walgreens and Dwayne Reed card. I've got my Starbucks gold card because I'm that ridiculous. Um, I've got my um, PS Aeropostal um, little rewards card. I don't shop there super often, but when I do, I have that. I've got my American Eagle points card, and then I've got this little prayer card that I actually got from the Notre Dame Cathedral when we went. And um, it's just something that I keep in my wallet. It's really... I don't know, it's just special to me. Um, so yeah, so I keep that in there, in the one side. And then in the middle here, the only, well, I might have a little bit more makeup in there. The only real makeup I keep in here is my favorite lip combo, and it is the, my kids are playing, so you may hear them. Um, it is the NYX um, Matte, ooh. I thought it was like, felt loose. The NYX, um, this is the Matte lipstick and this is in the shade MLS 01 oh nude in the shade nude it's a very pink toned nude and then I have a benefit gloss in the shade life on the a-list and then my favorite um, lip pencil it is a NYX um, lip liner pencil in mahogany and that's all I have in the wallet and that's all that's in that side. Then on the other side, I have this right here. This is a 31 um, like notebook thing. Um, this is the smaller one. I guess they're bigger now. Uh, this is an older pattern. I think it's like a year old or so. I just keep this in case I need to jot notes down. And it's also fantastic when I am out somewhere in Lincoln is looking for an activity. Um, I can whip this out and he could color, draw a picture. So easy peasy. And it's pretty small, so that's all I have on that side. Okay, then there is a zippered compartment in the one side, and I, that's empty. I don't have anything in there at the moment. Um, my phone sometimes goes in there. Um, and then, oh, on the other side, there's two little pockets. This little pocket is where my, you know, probably, guys probably can't see that. The one pocket is where my pen goes, the other pocket is empty, and there's a little a D ring for you to clip things onto on this side little plastic from when I bought it and then this side there's a clip and this is where if I'm gonna clip anything I clip my keys here um, which are right now just in here loose okay so in the centered zippered compartment here I have my NYX butter lip balm I actually should just take that out because I haven't used that in a while um, I've got my um, Gripsters monkey ring um, on my Toast and Family Adventures channel and Snips and Snails, my sort of like mommy or lifestyle channel. Um, I have talked about this before. You clip this side to your belt buckle or to the stroller if you have more than one child or whatever, and your child holds on to this end. So it's not like a leash where they're it's strapped around them. It's their responsibility to hold on to the monkey. Um, it comes with a longer... Um, piece right here and it also comes with two 
Velcro pieces so you can have other planks. You can have it Velcro to their wrist, but this works great. So I love this thing. We hook it to the stroller and I have little Larry hold on to it. Or when Lincoln is wanting to walk out and about, he can hold on to it. And uh, Larry's six, so sometimes I pop him and we bring the double stroller. So sometimes he wants to sit in the stroller and Lincoln wants to walk or whatever. So love this thing. Then I have some wet ones and some little emergency baby wipes in there. I usually have one single diaper in here as well, but I just used it um, the last time we were out and about, um, and we haven't gone, we haven't, I haven't replenished it. He does have a backpack that we keep in the car that has diapers and wipes in it. Okay, I have three more lipsticks in here or lip products. So I've got this. Um, I don't know what this is by. Oh, color. Whisper by who is this but oh Maybelline and this is in the shade Coral Ambition this is just a really pretty little lip balm I love these little lip balm type lip colors I've got a buxom lip gloss from Bare Minerals in the shade Kanani and I've had it for so long that all the label on the outside is rubbed off and all that I can read is here and this is like a really pretty um, very pinky coral her down there giggling um, and then I have a Revlon color burst uh, lip butter in red velvet again a really pretty color I love these little lip butters just enough color this one actually has a lot of color I'm gonna go ahead and put that away though because I haven't been using these so those can go in there um, I'll keep the lip on okay and then I have Dramamine I haven't used this actually in a while it's just kind of moved from purse to purse since our trip across country the kids and I I a little bit, but the kids really often get motion sickness when we go on car trips. They are fabulous on a car ride. They're so well behaved, but we get motion sickness. So I have Dramamine. I usually give this to them in the beginning of the car ride, and then they're good um, after that, no matter what the length is. Um, just that initial when we first get going, so for whatever reason, they get sick. Then I have my new pens that my husband got me for Christmas. I was so excited about these because it was like, ah, you do listen to me. <laughs> so, and I'll show you in a minute what, what these even go to. These are the Juice uh, Gel Ink Ballpoint Pens. The brand name, I'm not really sure of because they're in Japanese. I, um, oh, Pilot. These are Pilot. Durr. Pilot Pens. And um, I, they believe these came in the mail from Amazon. I think you got them from Amazon. Um, so you can look them up there, but they, um, they're really fabulous pens. I really love these. I love these. I love Stabilo pens. I like the Inf Infinity pens. I like the Sharpie pens, but specifically the Sharpie pens, not the Sharpies with a fine point because those ones bleed through real bad. Um, I like the Stadler pens, but I think they're so, sometimes they're a little bit overrated and there's so many good pens out there that are cheaper. Like these were, I think, when I checked on them to tell them about them, they were like seven bucks. So anyways, love these pens. And then I have a pack of Colgate Wisps. They're down there playing, they're so funny. And the peppermint flavor, just like to have those on hand. And then I have my keys. And in here I just have them, my little um, Louis Vuitton pochette or key pouch. This is so old, you guys. This is like, I think I've had this for seven years. This was, uh, my dad bought this for me when we went to, to Paris. We went to, um, uh, the Louis Vuitton that's in the Champs Elysees Square, I think it's called, and bought this. And it was brand new, limited edition. In fact, there's a chain piece that they later started selling for it, and they didn't even have that yet. It is, I mean, really old. It's like got pieces <laughs> chipping off of it, but I don't care. I love this. It's so special to me because my dad bought it for me. Um, so I love it. And in here, I just have... Um, an honest lip shimmer. I didn't need to throw that out. I never use that. And I have the receipt for this um, because I just feel like I need to keep it. I don't know. And then on it, I just have. Normally, I don't like having keys like on a keychain, like loose like this. It drives me bonkers. I was keeping them inside here, um, like just these two keys by themselves. But hold up, careful. But I found that I. Oh dear, hold on. Sorry guys, but I found that it was just too easy for me to pull these keys out and set them somewhere. Uh oh, we have our dear. Um, and then I have just my key to my car. So that's all that's in the bag right now. Now occasionally, 
Um, like if I have a busy day of errands to run or I'm going to the doctor for any of, for either myself or the kids or if I'm going to like a school, um, like a meeting at the school, whether it be PTA or like a um, parent teacher conference, I bring my planner with me. I don't bring this everywhere all the time with me, but I will bring it. You know, I have lists in here and stuff, so if I need it, I bring it and I throw it in here, but most of the time it lays open on my counter. So, this is my planner. It's an Erin Condren planner. I'm sure if you watch YouTube, you've probably seen these a bazillion times. I just had the one with the pictures on it. It's really sweet. I just, I really, really love it. Um, I didn't make any changes to it. I ordered it exactly as it is. I just love it. Um, and I think pretty soon I'm going to order a new cover for it, though, um, just because I... When I ordered this, we had just done all these pictures at the beach, and so I just loved them so much. And I think I'll, oh, I'm going to order another one with some different pictures maybe um, after my husband gets home. That might be fun. Uh, maybe do some Hawaii pictures, although I do love these beach pictures. So, yeah, so this is the folder I use. These are all Eclipse, by the way. Um, sometimes people see these and they want to know what they are. So these are all Eclipse. You can get them from Ollie Block on Etsy. Um, they were fairly cheap, and those are the smaller ones. In here, I just have two stickers that I purchased from a surf shop here that I haven't used yet. And a pamphlet for a thing at my son's school. And then I'll just go ahead and flip it. Here is my week, so you guys can see. Busy, busy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, this is how it is. This is my life. They're playing. So that is pretty much it for that. Oh, and in the back here I have just stamps and um, my mostly used stickers are in here um, so yeah so that's what's in the physical bag um, and then I'm gonna show you the inside so um, this is what the inside looks like here it is a really fabulous bag it's very sturdy um, I I can already tell you that I meant I, I want more colors not right now obviously but I can see myself in the future when it comes time and I'm ready for a new bag and I've saved for a new bag I could see myself wanting the black or the sort of like camely colored one um, I could and I like the big one I just for right now wanted the smaller one so it's really beautiful okay you guys so here's about what the size difference would be this bag is the same dimensions at a, yeah. about sorry guys is about the same dimensions as the large version of this bag so you can see the size difference here i'll kind of lay them on top of each other so you can really get a good feel um, um this bag is slightly more structured you can see there's like a whole bottom piece here that this one is a little bit more flimsy and this one's kind of well i don't know maybe they're about the same might be just because this one's a little bit used but um anyways so that's the size difference the handle drop when you purchase this it's at eight inches of a of a shoulder drop um this bag and the large version of this one it's at a nine inch drop but they do come with adjustments so that was the only thing i was worried about with this bag and it's it's totally fine so this is my bag i hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my bag video i'd love to see yours so if you have a what's in my bag video on your channel let me know because i absolutely love watching those whenever i have some free time to watch youtube and yeah, if you don't, then I don't know. Let me know something you do in your bag to organize it because I always love hearing tips on how to organize my purse. I wanted to show you guys how it kind of looks if I just quickly stick my planner in there. So that's what it kind of looks like. So it fits it all in there pretty good.